disconnect the inlet connection which is on top of the probe. Then we need to slide open the door and behind here there's a large fissure connector and a small fissure connector for the capillary voltage. Pull the collar at the rear so we can remove it and the same for the larger one which is a tight fit. Let the cables hang downwards. Open the source enclosure door using the lever. Hold with both hands. Be careful it might be hot at least here on the bottom side. We can remove by lifting up and then pulling towards you. Ensure that the source block has cooled down as it can be very hot before we can remove the source. For safety, please take out the mains power lead. We can now open to show the heater and remove the source block. If the heater plate is tight, then use your Allen key to remove. This here presses between the heater element and the front plate. It always is loose, but originally was stuck to the element. Next, loosen all the screws. There are four captive screws in total around the block. Remove the block. You can see that the O-rings are sticking for a while. Remove the four screws in order to remove the peak block and then we can take out the step wave. Pull forward and there are the O-rings which are sticking which need to be removed and put back in place again. There's a special tool for the step wave in order to pull it out but we can use a regular Allen key. Now we can take out the complete step wave. You can see the PCBs and wires so cleaning using acid or water is not allowed. We will clean in methanol only. There is an extended cleaning method using a soap solution but this is reserved for engineers. For the customers it is advised to only use methanol for cleaning. You need to remove a few parts and as you can see there is slight movement here and that's normal. That helps for the insertion of the step wave back into the instrument. In order to clean it properly, we're going to dismantle the two sections. So we need to separate the back part from the front part and remove the top hat to clean the aperture. Separate the two parts by removing the two bolts. Remove the bolt with the peak collar and keep them safe. The peak collar isolates the voltage. Also remove from the other side. This peak divider comes off and is kept aside. Next, remove these four screws, being careful not to drop them. Now we can take the top hat off. Inside, around the hole, you can see a black ring that needs to be clean. This as a whole can go into an ultrasonic bath suspended in a cylinder of methanol. I'm going to remove most of the black marks with a cotton swab and some methanol. So this part can be put directly into a glass cylinder, carefully placed so that it stands on the PCBs. As long as the gold plated parts are not in contact with the cylinder, then it's fine. Now we will fill it up with methanol. Make sure there is water in the ultrasonic bath and turn it on for 30 minutes. Make sure it cannot fall over with the vibration. Also, sonicate the top hat in methanol. Remove from the bath. Lift out from the methanol, and this needs to be dried quickly before methanol spots form. Use nitrogen to dry. Be very thorough, paying attention to dry each ring and all of the hard to reach places. Refit the top hat, but be careful that you don't push with your finger on the hole because it is a sensitive part. Then carefully fit the screws again as they are quite tiny and with gloves it's always difficult. Then we connect the two parts together again. Make sure that the peak divider is fitted between the two parts and is the correct way around. Refit the bolts within the peak collars to ensure the voltage is isolated. Tighten just over finger tight. There should be movement between the two parts. Insert back into the instrument and push home on the peak section. 
Then reinstall the peak block ensuring that the o-rings are in place. You need to hold in position because of the spring contacts. Tighten the four bolts evenly. Make sure that the o-rings here are still in place. Do not over tighten and work around evenly on each bolt. Each one should be just over hand tight. Align all the holes. These pins are for alignment. Here these are electrical feed throughs for the heater and for the temperature sensor and cone voltage there's a temperature sensor. Hold the source block in place to ensure that the o-rings stay in place and tighten the four captive screws. Tighten them in sequence to ensure an even fit, just over hand tight. You can see the isolation valve here is closed. This closes off the vacuum so that you can remove the cone after cleaning without venting the system. In this position you can see it's fully open. Do not do this when the system is under vacuum because your turbo pumps will be heavily stressed and may become damaged. Line up the hinges and push down. Then close the enclosure door. Line up the red dots on the larger fissure cable and reconnect. Slide the door across. Reconnect the smaller fissure cable and finally reconnect the inlet connection to the probe.